Christ is Lord. Is someone getting this today? Amen? Is someone getting this today? Let me tell you something, saints. Let our eyes be open. Our eyes need to be open. We will not be deceived. Lord, help your children not to be deceived. Lord, by the one that's coming, Lord. Seal us up, Lord, to the days of eternity, Lord, and preserve us. The only one who can preserve you is Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. If you've not made the Lord your God, you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Because he's coming and he's coming with power and he's looking for someone to love him and to trust him. Amen. Because there is coming a time on this earth when men will cry out and ask for rocks to fall upon their heads. Yes, they will want to die but cannot die because of the things they could take, because of the mark they've received. The mark will extend your life. The mark will rearrange your DNA to give you almost like an immortal life. You will have the ability to live for 500 years. You will have the ability to do things that you never thought you could have done because they will uh, tapped into the genome and they will do the genetics that's why the book of Genesis is called Genetics, Genesis the book of beginnings, that's why all these aliens and all these um, things come to your dream and they come, what are they doing they're always taking samples of your uh, tissues, what they're doing, they're trying to recreate a body, just as the Lord made a body for, for, for Christ to come into, he wants to make a body but he will possess an individual who is coming as a religious figure, yes, and he will come through the Christian arena. He will come through the Christian arena. He will be to them all things. And to the Muslims, they will love him as well. To the Buddhists, they will love him as well. To the, uh, the Shintos, they will love him as well. To the Confucius, they will love him as well. He will be loved by everybody, almost like when Barak was running. Do you guys remember when Barack was running? I've never seen nothing like this. The whole world was behind Barack Obama. But Barack Obama is not the Antichrist. <laughs> Amen. No, he's not. He's not. But there are many Antichrists that has went out of the world. But this gentleman that's coming, he will be the amalgamation. If they were to see him right now, they would bow down and kiss his feet because they will know that he is the son of Satan. He is the son of perdition. He is one who will work miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. He will be able to shape shift. He will be able to produce astounding miracles. He will be have he will have great feats of strength. He will be able to torture people and murder them wholesale by the by the, the flick of his wrist. He will be able to reject his presence. He will begin to be in many places at one time. Not all places, but many places. He will be able to totally disappear appear. He will be able to levitate. He will call on storms and hurricanes. He will be able to heal and resurrect life. He will be able to do all the things that Christ did, but it will be from a wrong source. It will be from a counterfeit source. It will be from the working of the power of Satan. Satan will be allowed to perform these things because God is giving his time because he's getting ready to throw him in the lake of fire. Amen? Are you guys getting this? Are you guys getting this? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we ask right now that you seal us up, Lord. Anybody who denies that Christ has come in the flesh is Antichrist. Anybody, this is one of his clues. Anybody who denies that Jesus Christ came in the flesh, they are Antichrist. You don't even need to talk to them no more. Amen? Hallelujah. Someone is watching right here, right now. And at least four of you, sorry. Four of you are watching. But what I'm getting is you've been fighting fibroid conditions. There's someone with cysts as well, you have fibroid and cysts. The Lord said to tell you as you activate your faith, he's healing you. The Lord says he's healing you from fibroid and cysts. 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 There's a cyst. There's a cyst. God is healing you from the cyst. Amen? And God said, one of you, you have a snake in your body. You have like a snake. Someone did this to you. It's not what you think it is. You have a snake in your body. They put a snake in your body, and that's what brings the condition on. Someone listening right now, your belly rises and goes down at certain times of the month. It rises and goes up. They've been using the tide and the moon to fix you. You've been, you've been uh, uh, attacked through marine witchcraft. And so that's what they're using. They're using the moon and they're using the sea. When the seas go out and the, seas, and the moon rise up, your belly swells. Amen? This is, this is something they've done to you. But I rebuke that and I cancel it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. One of you right now watching... You have irritable barrel syndrome. God said he is healing that condition right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Someone listening, you've been having sexual encounters in your dream. And this is from a jealous ex. He doesn't want you to move forward with your new relationship. And so he is using occultic means to come into your dream and to have sex with you because he wants to prevent you from moving on into another relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cancel that. I command that to stop right now and desist in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Someone, you, uh, you, you got a job. Uh, you got a call for a job 
um, and there was a supervisory position. He was waiting for us for a little while, and just when he was about to go on the interview for the job, you got a dream, and in the dream, the person was hiding their face, and they slap you in your ear. It's, it was your right ear. They slap you in your right ear, and the next day, you couldn't even get out of the bed. You couldn't get out of the bed, and as a result of that, you lost by default. You lost the job, and now you're crying in your bed because you still can't get out of the bed. I command you to rise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to rise, and in 30 days, you will get a call from the people again. And not only that, not only that, but the cousin that is doing that to you will be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm telling you right now, God is exposing the plans of the adversary. Someone is listening, and you've been far away from the Lord. The Lord has been calling you for the longest time, and you've been running. The Lord said, this is not the time to run, my son. This is the time to surrender. Come back into fellowship with him. Come back into your call. Amen? Someone listening right now, you've been abandoned by a parent. And now that you're all grown up, and you are now making something of your life, they are now bragging about you, and they are telling everybody that you're their son. And you feel some resentment. You feel actually a little bit of hatred towards them. The Lord said, release them. Forgive them. And let them go. You continue to love them, amen? And watch what God will do for you. That's all right. That's still your prayers. Someone watching, listening, you are for tuition fee that's coming up for college. You're in the States. You're in the States. You're in the States. You're upstate. You're upstate. And you need tuition fees like yesterday because they're, tra they're, they're trying to throw you out of the dorm. The Lord said to tell you this money is coming for you and it's coming right at the 11th hour. Don't give up. God is doing this for you. Amen? God is healing someone right now. You have a condition where you have a sore. The sore comes and it won't heal. The Lord says healing you. You have insomnia, someone that is listening. God said to tell you that you will sleep like never before. God is promoting someone who's listening. Your promotion is coming from the Lord. Get ready as you say promotion seven times. Promotion comes from the Lord. God said he's going to give you your promotion. Amen. The Lord said even now, someone who um, uh, has, has been uh, a friend of yours, they, they've assassinated your character. You were good to them, you were good friends with them, and you loved them, and yet they turn on you like a rabid dog. They turn on you like a rabid dog, and they spoke evil against you, and now you don't even want to go back to work because you're so shamed. The Lord said, don't worry about it. When they give you a scorpion, the Lord said, give them bread. The Lord said, he's working this thing out for you, and the Lord said, do not try to make the friendship work anymore. It's had a time, and it has a season. God said, he is, he is renewing this uh, a new thing for you, but don't go back into the friendship. Just leave it as it is, but don't hate the person as well. Amen? This product... This uh this program is brought to you by uh, uh Sandy and Warren. Um, you can find them either down to the harbor or you can give Warren a call at 807-8187. They sell tie-dye, t-shirts, pins, buttons, you name it, man. Those guys got the best. Also by George and Queenie, um, Lord God Souvenir. You can find them at um at uh, Esquire's Mall. Also, this is brought to you by L and M. L and M, L and M, Nana, Nana um on the Mall of Coral. Man, you got to check Nana. Nana has the most awesome stuff you ever want to see. Nana got all the goods, and I'm, I'm speaking number two. Nana, get ready for number two. You're going you're gonna to open up number two, amen? And also by Titty, down at the harbor. Check Titty out. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Prophet Peter Spencer saying goodbye. And I love you guys. Sorry about the connection, but God knows exactly what he's doing, amen? God bless you. Amen. <laughs>